to Chandpur, maybe. We could end up somewhere else entirely. You just never know here in uh, Dhaka. Underway on our journey, we left the dock in Dhaka maybe 25, 20 minutes ago. I was filming up at the bow of the boat, but I was getting a lot of attention from people and more and more people kept coming. So eventually the captain told me, you know, can you please leave the bow and take all your friends with you? So here I am at the back and I'm going to head down into to the lower decks and uh, see what's going on down there. stairs. a spot here that's uh, out of the wind, might be a little bit quieter. We've been on the river for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and we reached the point where the Dalashwari River meets up with the Meghna River. I'm probably pronouncing those names wrong, but there's nothing I can do about that. At this point, the river gets much wider, and from this point on, I think it gets wider and wider after we hook up with the Padma River and until we get to uh, Chandpur. all the boats with the bricks. We've got some huge brick kilns operating here. Each one of these smokestacks, the giant kiln. You can see all the bricks piled up, ready for delivery. They've had a uh, little 
passenger all this time. He keeps climbing around my fingers and around my camera. I think he's looking for a place to sleep for the day. It's a little bit windy for the poor guy. This is kind of a landmark here. We've reached the point where the Padma River joins the Meghna. This is the Meghna here, and coming from around that point over there is the Padma. So all that water joining us is coming from the Ganges River in India. We've arrived at Chanpur, and it appears we're racing this other launch to get in there. I think we're going to beat them. how they zoom up beside the boat and the guy's just going to jump on board He's doing a uh, Tom Cruise action down there. Welcome to Chandpur Ferry Terminal. This must be the competition for my boat. This is the uh, Rough Rough 2. Which means there's probably a Rough Rough 1. Fish for sale. Amazing that this boat is coming in to uh, fit right in between these two. It doesn't seem like enough room to me, but they're uh, they nestle them together pretty close. just comes in here and muscles his way in and pushes the other two boats aside. Just banged into that other one. It's gonna bang. Whoa. Banged into us. And that's why they have these uh, bumpers between the boats. They, uh, they know what they're for. Well, we've arrived in Chanpur. Time to head down and uh, get off the boat. There's another boat. <laughs> another boat trying to make room for itself. Just pushes its way in and uh, pushes everybody else to the side. It's crazy. excitement here at Chanpur dock than at the uh, Dhaka dock. A lot more people, a lot more activity. I guess it makes sense it's crowded because about four launches all arrived at the uh, same time. So it's probably not like this all the time. It's hard to tear myself away from the dock. There's just so much going on here. These boats are amazing. coming from the staff members themselves. <laughs> There's like seven or eight guys, all for the same boat, yelling to attract customers to get on their boat. So it's not the customers that are causing the noise, it's actually the employees. They're pretty excited about getting people on their boat. We've got one boat departing, and another boat coming in, and they timed it just perfectly so that they could perhaps run into each other. Not sure why they did that. It's not like they're so small that they snuck up on each other. Looks like they're gonna hit. Bang. <laughs> it's like bumper cars with ships that weigh hundreds, tens of thousands of tons. That is crazy. Now we've got another boat swinging its butt 
over this way just at the same time that this one is leaving. I guess they know what they're doing, but I couldn't tell you what it is. They appear to have it sorted out, the one leaving, backing up that way. But now this one is moving over this way to take its place. So now the newcomer, oh, he got hit again. that was arriving finally fought its way through. He pushed, he pushed that huge one off to the side and now he can move in. Another crazy thing is that these big ledges on these ferries come in way over the dock and they go scraping along the top here and there's all these people standing there but you know People are just expected to look after themselves and stay out of the way. No guardrails or anything like that. Here it is, comes sliding in. Comes in like eight feet over the dock. And this part of the dock here, the very front of it, really takes a beating when these ferries come in all day, every day, slamming into the dock. You can see how broken up it is. These guys are uh, welding it back together, adding more steel. This is an amazing scene here in Chanpur. I'm just on the, the main uh, gangplank coming up from the dock. look at the uh, Chanpur dock behind me. I'm uh, leaving the ferry terminal area and I'm going to head into Chanpur itself and just go for a walk around the city, uh, see what there is to see. I'm going to try and follow the coast as much as I can. It's always the most interesting place. Let's go check out Chanpur. Still here in uh, Changpur, a little bit of uh, a rural feeling compared to Dhaka. And uh, heading back towards the ferry terminal now, I want to see if there's like a 2.30, 3 o'clock boat heading back to Dhaka. And for now, this is uh, the scenery around me, got a nice lake. We're approaching the dock, the ferry terminal at Chanpur from our return to Dhaka. You can hear the siren. That means a boat's leaving soon. I don't know whether it's my boat or not. We'll only find out when I physically get onto the uh, dock. The bonus question for the last video was, which country is closest in size to Bangladesh? Germany, Costa Rica, 
Egypt or Greece? The answer is Greece. Bangladesh is about 147,000 square kilometers in size. Greece is about 132,000 square kilometers. Costa Rica is much smaller at 51,000 square kilometers and Germany is much bigger at 357,000. When you consider all the countries in the world, the closest to Bangladesh in size is Nepal. Nepal and Bangladesh are almost exactly the same size. What about my country of Canada? Well, Canada is a bit bigger. Canada comes in at nearly 10 million square kilometers. Bonus question for this video. When I return to Dhaka by launch, I see a leaping businessman. Why did I call him the leaping businessman? Did he jump from a boat to another boat? Did he jump from a boat down to the dock? Or did he jump over a goat as he ran to catch the ferry? Put your guess in the comments below. Answer at the end of the next video. Or you can watch the whole video and see for yourself. Here I am relaxing in my luxurious single cabin on the Dalashwari River in Bangladesh. How exciting is that actually? It doesn't get any more exciting than this for me. This is like the high point of uh, living for me.